Choosing fingerings is one of the most important aspects of learning a new piece. The earlier we can fix on a good fingering, the better because it gives us physical security. It's really helpful to have a good knowledge of scale and arpeggio fingerings from the early stages because these become engraved in our mind and in our fingers. And so whenever we come across scalic passages in a piece, we can always choose the best fingerings very, very quickly. The more we can develop good fingerings for scales and arpeggios from an early stage, the more these fingerings become engraved in our mind and in our fingers. So each time we come across a scalic passage in our piece, we'll automatically come to the right fingering. However, some of the traditional fingerings for scales and arpeggios aren't always the best. For instance, if we take the scale of D major, it's traditionally been taught starting on the fifth finger. But when we do this, the third finger has to come over the thumb onto a white note. Now, if instead we put the thumb before a black note, so we start on the second finger, then the fourth finger goes over onto a black note, and that avoids all the twisting of the hand and the scale is much more even.